Yo, what's going on my print peeps? Thank you for checking back in. For those of you who are new, my name is Dave with Diversity Print. We got a lot going on right here in front of us. Uh, so let's get into it. We went ahead and invested in, uh, in a diode laser. Just to get into the laser, uh, I've been wanting to do this. This is one of the first things that I wanted to get into about 10 years ago. And yeah, the machines are like crazy high, like 15, 18,000. At least the ones that I'm looking at and wanted to get into. So I started going a different route. But um, uh, let's, uh, let's introduce uh, let's introduce the uh, the group here and uh, let's go through each one and, and see what we got here and then hopefully we have enough time uh, if you guys will stick with us uh, we'll probably install the, the D1 here um, so let's go ahead and start with Mr. D1 this is the actual uh, laser unit this is the base and everything that, that comes with it and uh, I believe the 10 watt is in here. Uh, it originally comes with a 10 watt. I think now you can actually buy it instead with a 20 watt. But I'm glad that the 10 watt was available because at the time, and I think I got this one on sale, but this is the 20 watt uh, bad boy right here. And I think I got this on sale when they had a live one time I can't remember but if the 20 watt was to ever go out or something would happen to it I still have the 10 watt but uh, the 20 watt uh, segueing into the next uh, person in the group uh, this bad boy right here is the 20 watt you should be able to do jobs twice as fast or even a little bit faster than than that and this one I believe the D1 came with the extension feet and everything like that um, and also I believe in this box because they already have them pre-packaged was the old uh, rotary that came when they first introduced uh, the D1 unit uh, but now they have the new and improved RA2 uh, and this now uh, you can include it with the D1 package so that's what I did here and this is the, the, the second version of it and then this guy hiding in the back here, this is just the package, the maintenance package, the D1 maintenance package, and I got the maintenance package for the 20 watt. So um, even though this is a 10 watt machine, I'm going to be using the 20 watt laser. Well, there's two things in here that are compatible with the 20 watt or that will make your machine better compatible for the 20 watt laser. I'll reiterate, reiterate that later uh, when we do open this up. But it has like the nozzle that is actually meant for the 20 watt. And I think if you put the 20 watt inside the original D1 with the 10 watt laser, uh, the nozzle doesn't fit uh, as perfect. Um, so there is a different nozzle. I've heard a lot of complaints about getting the 20 watt and it not fitting uh, the nozzle or something like that because it's too small or something. So anyway, Get the D1 maintenance package kit if you're going to get the 20 watt laser. And um, so next is the air assist. Uh, we got the air assist because I didn't have time to go out and look online um, and, and just try and research and research. Uh, you know, so I just went ahead and got the air assist with with the rest of the package and everything, just so it can be all from one place. But uh, I heard good things about it. I heard it's quiet. And everything so um, if it's not as quiet as what it should be or what we think we need it at then I'll just go I have a one or two uh, places online that I've saved and um, we, we may upgrade to those if this one isn't good enough or it doesn't work this I don't know what this is I think this is um, the cork this the cork desk pad that comes free with the package this is the only thing I could think this is I have not opened any of this yet um, and by the way, I don't know if I mentioned, but this maintenance kit, because most some of this stuff comes from overseas. Okay, we're in the states, and like I have my own tape on here, but this thing actually came like this. It just came to the doorstep like that. So I can I can tell when I kind of looked in it. I didn't take it all out yet, but I can tell that Customs opened it up, and it's like, come on, Customs, you know. Buy some uh, packaging tape and at least tape our packages back together, you know? 
next is these two guys down here. These are the extension tables, uh, the honeycomb tables. Oh, extension table. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I hope I didn't get copyrighted for that. But anyway, this along with the honeycomb, I got two of them. So with the D1 kit, you can include a honeycomb uh, kit for it. But luckily, I did it around the same time they were bringing the extension kit out. And when they finally put this online, they gave me the option to include uh, two honeycomb uh, kits or two honeycomb plates that actually where your substrates you know sit on top is to help burn it and, and keep the smoke going through and it doesn't char your wood and everything like that so I went ahead and got the extension table kit and the two honeycomb uh, uh, plates at the same time and uh, I think I saved a little bit of money there but uh, that's what the extension kit the extension kit uh, helps you go a little over 36 inches wide. So a little over three feet wide that you can get your extension kit. That's going to be nice. That's going to cover this entire table or at least majority of it, about 90% of it. And uh, yeah, I got some projects to go on this bad boy. So that goes hand in hand with the honeycomb, honeycomb kits. Next you see five boxes right here okay and these five boxes uh, are material boxes when I first got the entire this entire set at the time they had this at, uh, if you buy $500 or more of accessories you get 50% off okay so these were priced at a hundred bucks uh, you know so I got five of them and I was like maybe five bucks short, so I went ahead and got you know a, I think it was uh, mahogany or, or cherry or something like that pieces of wood uh, accessory uh, so that the, it can go like to five ten or something like that. And so I got fifty percent off. So instead of these being a hundred dollars, I got these for fifty bucks, and I got five of them. Okay, so instead of paying five hundred, I paid two fifty. So fifty dollars. I can see paying for. I mean, it's probably valued at around thirty, thirty dollars. It's probably worth the material in here, uh, but the markup to fifty is probably accurate. But uh, anyway, we'll go through all this stuff later when we open them all up and everything. Uh, I just wanted to show you uh, what we're working with here, and before we put the the D one together, so. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, uh, leave them down in the comments and uh, I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Again, I have not opened anything uh, of these yet, uh, so it's going to be uh, as new to me as, as it is uh, for you if you don't have one of these yet. So we're going to learn and learn together and uh, hopefully we can learn quick and we can start making some, some, uh, some pretty cool projects. Yeah, we'll see you on the other side. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this side right here. And we're going to cut the zip tie off and remove that. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is make room. I have a solution to this until they send me a replacement. And if they don't send me a replacement, shame on them. But I do have, um, let me show you. This is a piece of foam, uh, just a medium density foam like uh, that goes on your window AC units type stuff. Uh, we're gonna try and cut a circle out and then stuff that in there uh, or just cut a small piece and we'll stuff it in there and see if that'll help uh, keep it level. We also have some hard styrofoam that we'll use if this doesn't work. But we'll get to this, uh, so keep watching in case yours uh, doesn't come with a, a rubber foot or is missing one. We'll give you some alternatives to fix until they send you one. Hopefully they do send you one. Alright, so this is going to be your front piece. This is going to have the X-Tool logo here. And we're going to put that in the front. 
All right, you have two pieces with little motors on them. Um, it's going to be the one with the motor with, with no other piece. This piece in the center of this unit, this is where the laser goes on. So this is going to be your left and your right. So if you're looking at it from the front, the one with the motor, this is going to go on the left side. And we'll slide everything in together where you want to get it in place first. And then you have this side here, which is just a plain rail, nothing fancy about it. This is the actual one that's missing the foot. So um, let's get to that part first. So we don't have to lift the whole thing up and turn it upside down after we put it together. Let's see if we can get this fixed. All right, so trying to make a, a temporary foot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna press down on it really hard just for a little bit and it's going to create a little outline circle and so what we're going to do is we're just going to cut around that okay and then we're going to try and squeeze this in here and we'll try to use this as the foot just for now just so it's not scraping on any wood or the plastic uh, and it has a little bit of padding on it. So let's hope that works out for now. All right, so we're going to lift up the front where it has the logo here, the left rail, and we're going to slide this piece on just like that. All right, so the right side of your unit is going to be the one with the belt on it and you're going to have a uh, little cutouts here on the side all right so what you want to do is you want to move this out of the way okay and then you'll slide this in and you'll see a uh, you'll see a screw hole on top here and a screw hole on top here so we're going to put the back on we'll slide that on and then slide that on so you'll make sure on this side you want to align the power switch and the uh, the power port or the power plug outlet and the data you want to make sure that is aligned with this side piece right here okay all right so you want to uh, separate all your screws uh, you really have three sides of screws that have the same head so you have large medium and small or long medium and short screws okay uh, so on the next step on putting all the the sides together we're going to use the small ones and you should have 16 of these small ones here so we're going to get our hex uh, key and we're going to uh, put put those on all the corners that, that need them all right and then we'll show you that here in a second I use these I recommend these these are hex and these have the uh, little ball on the end that makes it a little bit easier and they're just easier to use uh, we'll see if they're easy to use on this application all right so this is a two and a half millimeter uh, hex so on each side you have three and one so on the front left you have three uh, screws to go in and one on the top on this side you have three on the side and one on the top on this side you have three on the back and one on the top and on this side I believe you have three on the back and one on the top so we're gonna go ahead and put all those screws in first and then we'll get to the next step remember uh, don't tighten them until you get until they're all in that way you have a little bit of room to, to move them back and forth in case they don't line up 100% perfect. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, so we got all four corners uh, screwed in. It took 16 of these small. We had two screws left, but there's four on each side. Uh, we'll see if they go somewhere else or they may be extras. So the next step is we're going to turn it on its side 
So on the back side, we're gonna have the two two of the long screws, and what these do is these go these go into these two holes in the back right here. And what they what they go into is they go into these rails right here. So if I can show you this, you see there is a uh, a belt here, and this helps with the tension. Okay, there's a belt on each side. And so all you have to do is put that screw in and it goes and attaches to the back here. And all you'll do is you'll screw it in and you don't want to uh, fully tighten it. Okay, we're just going to put them in there until they touch the, the, the back of this, uh, the belt here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, this side is actually loose and um, there is a screw on either side. There's one right here and that this actually loosens it to, uh, to go forward and backward. So we're going to do the same thing to this one. We'll see if we can do it by hand. So that one is like that. And this one seems to be already tensioned. Okay, we just have to mess with this one here, but we're still we're still not done yet. So be careful with these screws. Don't tighten them too tight. They're only to make tension on the belts and tighten them up a little bit. All right, so don't get confused on this next step. It's pretty simple. Okay, so this is your optical shaft. Okay, this is what's going to uh, help it go forward and backward. This is the front end, and so the grooves here go into the belt on this side. The smooth end, you're going to use this coupler, okay? And so you're going to, there's two sides to this coupler. You're going to tighten one screw onto this uh, rod right here, and then the other side is going to go underneath onto this motor shaft right here I'm not sure if you can see that but um, I got, I'll give you a close-up just uh, kind of giving you an idea of what we're going to do here so we're going to push this uh, this piece forward I'll try and do it like this so you can see it a little bit better um, make sure you don't have this uh, this belt twisted or anything like that. We're gonna get our rod here, our optical uh, rod, and we're gonna slide this coupler onto here. I think it can go either way, whichever way uh, fits for you, all right? And we're gonna put this in first. We're not gonna tighten it down yet, uh, but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna, you have uh, teeth on this side, so we're going to make sure it's on the belt and I loosen it up from the back and what we're going to do is we're going to fit it right back in the corner until it slides into the hole in the corner. You can't miss it. It's the only hole back there that this rod fits into. All right. So now if you can't see, you should be able to see now the rod has to meet with this um, this motor shaft right here and so we're going to use the coupler to join them together okay so once you have this uh, the optical bar or the optical um, rod in here and you have the uh, coupler here uh, set uh, don't screw in the screws all the way just yet what you want to do before you screw those uh, that coupler on both sides is you want to move these to the front as close to the front as possible so on this side we're going to push it back and so that they're both the same distance away from this front end now with the spindle or not spindle with the uh, coupler uh, loose we're going to get our wrench and put it in the middle as close as possible and we're going to tighten them both down okay now that the coupler is secure, now the front and the back both move 
at the same time. Okay? Now, if these belts are too tight, that's where we loosen the side nuts or side screws, and we can loosen it and tighten with these back ones here. So, um, we're going to have to play with that. I feel like it may be a little tight. And then this side, I don't know, we'll see how that works. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the twist tie to these uh, to the wiring. We're going to put this one aside, and we're going to work with this uh, wire right here. It has a yellow uh, end, and it has a white end, so you can't get confused. We're going to lean this forward, and here on the bottom you will see a yellow and a red. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but there is a yellow and a red. So the yellow end goes to the yellow. Now there is a certain way to put this. It's like it's key to go in one way only. So we're gonna go ahead and push this down. All right, so it goes straight into that port right there. And then the other end is gonna go straight into um, into this port and this is the same way you have the metal connections on this side and over here you have two little uh, like a keyed plug and so it's going to go just like this and straight in all right so it's key to go one way don't put it backwards because you may bend the pins and it may uh, it may render it useless so be careful with that all right so actually the next step is actually tying those down. So we're gonna go ahead and get our zip ties. We're gonna get three of them. And we're gonna tie these down. All right, we're gonna do it just like that. You can do it however you want. And then we'll cut the end off. Use scissors, don't use a blade, don't cut your finger open. And we're gonna do the next two just like that. So we'll come back when we're done. All right, so we've uh, zip tied this wire down here. Uh, I left it just slightly loose, uh, just in case I want to maneuver this uh, a little bit later. And I left a little bit extra in case I need to get some pliers and, and retighten it when I'm done. So, so far we're good with that. So the next step is we're going to keep it in this position right now. And we're going to go to this wire on this wire, you're going to have a white end plug and a red end plug. So we're going to plug uh, those in right now. Okay, and then we'll get you a close up here where we'll send a snapshot on the screen to show you how those are plugged in. So once you have that plugged in, now we can go ahead and move this like this. And we can keep it, actually, let's work, uh, let's work a little bit more efficient. And so we're going to put the back end towards this. So now this is the front, and then this is the back side. All right, so here comes the middle piece. And I believe, yeah, that's the front. So this is where your laser is going to go. It's going to slide right into here. So the motor is going to go on the side that the power button is on. And we want to put this, if this is over here, we're going to want to put this kind of like in the middle. So these are machined on the side to accept two screws. And these are machined on the side and threaded for two screws. So you're going to have four of the medium screws. And so what we're going to do is we're going to float this up here on the middle. And we're going to put one and see if we can thread it by hand once we get it in there. Okay. And so let's get one on the other side to make it a little bit easier. All right, that's in. You see why I love these things? These are, these are a blessing and this will save you some time, I'm telling you. And even if you don't want to do it by hand, you can get this. It'll stick in there.
and boom. It's not gonna do it as easy because it's putting a lot of weight on that screw. So, but it's a lot better than those L uh, hex uh, screws. I haven't even taken it out of the package. All right, so we're gonna put the fourth one on. We're gonna screw it down and, and tighten them up, and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, so now that we have uh, all four screws in, we're going to turn this around real quick so that we can see the left side of the of the machine. So on this side, when you screw the screws in, it's the two out the two outer holes. The center hole, just like the ones on the rear, are just to tension the belts. Um, and you also have a screw here on top to loosen up that, uh, that tensioner on the bottom so that you can uh, use this screw to, to loosen or tighten it up. So right now it feels like it's pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use the long screw and we're going to put it in the middle so let's put it on our wrench here and we're just going to set that screw in there just like that all right so that middle screw that went in here on the side it actually helps the left and right uh belt right now it, it's kind of uh it's got a little bit of tension on it but we will have to adjust that if our prints don't come out as crisp as what they should be and that's what those are for so we will leave that screw in there for now and that screw isn't doing anything right now because this screw right here is what stops the uh the tensioner on the bottom of it from going left and right the same here you got a screw on the side and a screw on the side because you have belt tensioners here and a belt tensioner here and once you find that it is tight enough then you screw the the you, you tighten the screw on the sides so that you lock it in place and it doesn't go anywhere. So let's go on to the next step. Okay, so we're gonna set this up for the 10 watt that came with the unit. And because setting up for the 20 watt is a little bit different, uh, especially if you had the D1 20 watt uh, laser diode maintenance kit. So we're going to just do the 10 watt with what it came with. Alright, so before we slide this in here, um, let's turn it this way so we can kind of see what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little close up on how to adjust this knob so that when you close it, it actually the pin goes through here and goes to the side of the laser um, unit and it holds it in place. So this little thumb screw, I guess we can call it. So it actually opens up to the side and there's a little nut in there that actually catches into the grooves of this, of this piece right here. So in order to move this steel uh, screw without moving this, is to push this forward and it's kind of hard to do without getting in your way but you actually push it out of the way just like that and then you can turn this like that okay so what you're trying to do and let me get you on the inside here so what you're trying to do is get the other end right there you can see that screw protruding out of that hole and get it to where it's almost it's barely coming out of the hole that way when you flip this down it goes in and it's just enough to go into the the unit of the laser and so now you will put your laser on and so whenever it goes through there it is and you just push it down to tighten it and it's holding it in the air all right so the next step is wiring the laser and the motor so what we're going to do is we have two holes in the front corner this is the power button over here and we have two holes 
Now we're going to put some uh, zip ties in to secure the wire to. And we're going to run that across here to the edge. And so you have a six pin on this motor here and you have an eight pin on the laser, okay? And so again with this, uh, you're gonna have, you're gonna see the pins on this side and on this side, you're gonna just see the keyed, uh, the keyed side and the keyed side goes up on this motor, okay? So we're going to put that in like that and then we will send you or we will show you a picture of that on the screen of how it looks and then we have one two three more spots for three more zip ties to put here for this wire going across so what this is going to do is this has a keyed in on this side and then you have the pins on this side so the key in is going to face towards you okay and there is a slot on top here so it helps prevent it, prevent the wire from pulling so what you're going to do is you're going to slide it into that slot that's on top of the laser and then you're going to slide it right inside that connection and push down on both sides and now that's a nice little connection all right so you don't want this sheeting this cover to come up past here and having the the wires exposed and and have a potential of cutting the wire so make sure this sheeting goes all the way down to the bottom on this other side of this uh of this uh, clip here all right and we will show you a, a snapshot of this on the screen to show you how it looks like all right, so now we're gonna get our twist ties as our next step. And we're gonna have two over here and we're gonna put our wire there. And then we have three here and we're gonna secure it onto this, uh, this rail right here. So we'll get back to you whenever we're done with this step here. So now the next step is basically telling you to mess with the, um, to mess with the tension, to make sure you have not too tight and not too loose with the belt, you know, it's flapping all, all around. I don't know, you're just gonna have to mess with that on your own. It's kind of hard to explain uh, how it is, but just kind of make sure there's a little bit of tension, but don't make it to where the, the belt is super tight. Just, you know, make it tight and then let it loose just a little bit, okay? Just give it some play. Because if you do it too tight, not only is your design not going to come out well, or it may not come out well, but you're going to wear out those motors uh, a lot quicker. So you don't want to put more strain on those motors going forward and backward, left and right, that you don't have to. Okay, so just enough tension to keep the teeth of the, of the belt onto the pulley. That's enough. That's all you need. Okay. Let's put on these G glasses, these pimp glasses. Oh man, this is tight. All right, so we're ready to cut. We're ready to do some uh, some projects on here. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful. I know it was long. If you need to, and if it's easier, go to the X-Tool website and look at their instructions. Uh, they're very quick, probably like five to eight minutes on putting this together. But if you need a little bit more explanation, you can watch this video and hopefully it'll help or hopefully it'll answer any questions uh, from you putting yours together. Um, so I know I didn't mention, I forgot the, uh, the micro SD card, but that just goes here on the bottom uh, in the front. There is a slot or a spot for it. Uh, we'll put it in there and take a picture and show it on the screen and show you where it goes. But uh, it's simple. You just pop it in there and uh, it's all good. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, let me know as always by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you can, it helps out a lot. Leave a comment down below. Have you gotten into this, uh, this X-Tool D1 laser? Do you like it? 
Do you don't like it? Uh, do you have another laser that you use? A, a diode? A CO2? CO2 is my goal. I'm going to get a CO2. I, I, I'm going to get one. Uh, that's my next thing I'm going I'm to try and get. Uh, but I wanted to jump into this laser thing and, uh, and get started with it and, and see where it goes. Just see the potential. Um, so yeah, so keep an eye out on for the next videos. I'm going to uh, upgrade this to the extended table uh, and we'll show you how to do that. Uh, as well as upgrading it to the 20 watt. Uh, we're going to use the D1 maintenance kit for the 20 watt. And we're going to do uh, change out a couple of things on there and show you how to do that as well. Again, hopefully you found this video helpful. Hope you're having a good day printing. And until next time, we'll talk to you later. Peace.